This is a Land Rover Discovery 4. It's a 3 litre SDV6 HSE 5 door. It's uh, done 55,243 miles and it's MOT'd until the 12th of September 2018. The fuel economy figures. Urban is 25.2, extra urban 34 and combined is 30.5. Top speed of 112 miles per hour. The car itself is finished in Stornoway grey metallic and uh, it's got the um, nutmeg leather um, or beige or whatever you want to call it. Great specification on these discoveries. We have power folding door mirrors, three position electric memory seats, we've got uh, sat nav, heated seats at the front here, you've got your terrain response controls here, electronic handbrake, cup holders, front centre armrest which has got an iPod connector which you should be able to replace for the new iPhone or whatever phone you've got and it's also got a refrigerated compartment. We've got the three sunroofs across the top there which make the interior very uh, or appear very light and airy. Um, I'll just take you for a drive in it now. You've also got the piano black insets here on the, uh, the dash, the door cards and the gear tunnel. It's a seven seater. The third row of seats fold flat into the back leaving lots of luggage space. A very commanding position on the road. Great visibility all round. Xenon headlights, we have uh, two keys for it, two remotes like so. The locking wheel nut there which uh, I've put in the cup holder to stop it rattling around on the test drive. The steering wheel is electrically operated, height and reach adjustable. We've got uh, cruise control on the left hand side here and your telephone controls on the right, indicators on the left here, wipers on the right, just to the right here of the steering wheel is your uh, headlamps, side head, and I think it's automatic, I can't actually see it from here, yes it's automatic, and the main beam, you click the uh, indicator stalk away from you. It really is a very, very comfortable car. Um, you can see here, you can see right over all the cars in front. I can see the cyclist that's, uh, or was four cars ahead of me. So no surprises on the road. And I also notice, I, I normally drive one of these, a, a Range Rover Sport or a Discovery here. And uh, I was in an Audi A6 on the motorway yesterday and it was lashing down and I was, in the spray I was immersed in spray I couldn't see what was going on couldn't see what was happening in front of me whereas normally with a if you're you're in one of these you're just above the spray and you feel a whole lot safer very comfortable to drive soak up the air suspension soaks up all the bumps got alloy wheels as well Xenon's headlamp wash, parking sensors, we'll check in a second whether this has got reversing camera as well. It's going to have to be a quick drive today, we've been absolutely inundated at the garage today. Um, we've also got Harman Kardon speakers here, the, the sound system in the Discovery is uh, fantastic. And for the size of the car, pulls away really well. To me, the, uh, the, this is just came in last night, this car, and we, we take these cars for a 10-mile ride. 
tell my old drive, make sure everything's okay. Um, the first thing I'd notice, uh, I'd say the steering wheel is slightly off center, probably needs a tracking doing to align the steering wheel. There's no wheel wobbles as such. No noises anywhere. Nice and quiet. You see these three position memory seats, they also control the steering wheel and your door mirrors. So uh, three drivers can jump in and go straight back to the position that they're comfortable in. Rev counter on the left of the, the, the dashboard cluster and uh, your information panel in the center and then speedo on the right. In the center panel you've got your coolant temperature and also a fuel gauge, a digital speedo di or digital readout. That's uh, let's just try not to frighten anybody to death but we, we've got reversing camera there and also the passenger door mirror tilts so you can see the curb when you're reversing that's a really handy feature next five going past there and they're in my opinion quite a harsh ride especially if you get one with the, the run flat tires on this is uh, really pleasant it's uh, it's a joy to drive and it, it's a it's a joy to be a passenger in as well can't actually uh, carry straight on as opposed to going up the M6. So we've also got we've got the, the big front central armrest here, and then you've got the individual driver and passenger seat armrest, which the, there's a little screw on there that uh, you can adjust, but it, it doesn't get any better than this. It's very, very comfortable. Doing 70 miles an hour there, one touch cruise, a little bit faster than 70 miles an hour, so I'll just turn that down a little bit. There we go. And we're doing 1750 revs. Nice and quiet, no wind noise, plenty of headroom. You've got your uh, sunroof over there with a the, with the shade band. It's also tilt and slide. Checking into the service history at the moment. But I would imagine we'll probably service it again before it goes out. We'll certainly have a workshop check over and a pre delivery warranty check. But for me, just driving it here, everything, everything seems fine. Just as it's come in, it's nice and clean, it's always a good sign especially some of these Range Rovers and uh, uh, also the uh, Discoveries uh, tend to be used a lot by the farming community and all sorts goes on in the back. We had one the other week, I think it being used as a, a sheep transporter. This is, uh, this is nice.
very bumpy road here. And, uh, even though the, the Land Rover is going up and down a little bit, it doesn't go up and down with a thud like a lot of cars do along here. It evens the road out. A heated front screen as well that's uh, very very handy in the winter as well as the reversing camera you've also got the uh, front and rear parking sensors so uh, you've got an audible warning Got a warning light on the dashboard at the moment that says smart key battery low. menu there, navigation, phone, audio, video, 4x4 info, settings, What I've seen outside the car, it uh, looks nice and uh, pretty original. Um, not been balloted yet, so we'll, it should or should come up like new.
are back at the garage.